Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to Mission Impressionable. So, uh, this week would be Dragonfin Soup, and um, I guess I'll just kind of start off with a little bit on this. Uh, I actually backed this on Kickstarter, I thought it looked really cool, and um, well, finally got around to playing it. Uh, I know it had a rocky launch, and uh, like immediately after it came out I was hearing some bad stuff, and I wanted to avoid it for a bit, uh, give them some time to patch things before I really delved into it and gave it a look. And, like, I, I hate to say it, but I kind of regret backing it. So, uh, well, let's start with, uh, you know, like, the issues I'm having with the game. And then we'll just kind of get into, like, some minor stuff here and there. So, the game seems very unstable. Um, I had the game crash on me twice and had it, like, freeze on me a couple times and I have to kind of sit there, wait for it to respond, and, um, yeah, like, yeah, it really sucks to have to, you know, deal with that. Um, this is probably going to be a short video because I didn't get to play a lot of it, uh, after the second time it crashed on me. Um, which would be, like, the third time I had to restart the game. Uh, like, not restart story-wise, because it does autosave uh, pretty often, it seems. But uh, just kind of, like, restart it up. Um, but yeah, so, game crashed twice, and after that I was like, alright, I, I can't go any further. I want to like the game, because, like I said, it looked interesting, I backed it, but I just can't, I can't like it in its current state uh it's way too unstable uh the loading screens were really long load times um i know i guess it does like some random generation of stuff and it kind of has to load that in or whatever but even so like every time i go to a loading screen it takes a while so that's kind of a turn off there um another minor complaint would be the controller controls they just something feels off about them like you know like i i want to be able to like walk up something and just attack it and then like maybe turn and attack again and it just felt like everything was really weird to control with the controller uh it definitely feels a bit better with mouse and keyboard uh i liked moving around with the mouse fine uh, i liked moving around with the keyboard fine so can't really say I have any complaints on that end, but um, one other like minor thing that happened was there was a point where like a help pop up showed up talking about something, and like it immediately closed, and I didn't really get a chance to see what it said. I don't know if I hit something that made it close right away or what, but uh, you know that's just like all these little things kind of add up, and um, like when I launched the game, it launched in windowed mode, and when I put it into full screen in order to put it into full screen it like had to close out of the game and restart it which like minor things but it, it kind of you know it's annoying stuff like that where it's just like this could have been done better um as far as what's good about the game i do like the art i think the game looks great and i love the soundtrack actually the soundtrack is fantastic if anything by the soundtrack. But honestly, like, I hate to say this, because like I said, I did back the game on Kickstarter. I can't really recommend it. It's just not in its current state. Maybe a few more patches down the road, but right now it just feels too unstable. Crashes too often, freezes up too often, and it's not like I have, like, a bad computer. It's, you know, it's getting on in years now. It's a couple years old, but it's still pretty good like i shouldn't have to have a top of the line rig to run this game like i could run the newest triple a release with no problem why should i be having a problem with this you know so uh i guess that's all i have to say on dragon fin soup i guess i finally found a game that i just can't recommend even in the slightest um it sucks too because i was really looking forward to this game what little I played of it, like, I kind of like how it controls, but, yeah, uh, there's, in the short span of 20 minutes, I had the game freeze up on me 
I want to say three times and crash on me twice, like completely. So, yeah, I, I'm sorry, but uh, this just uh, it could have been better. And I don't know, maybe maybe if I waited longer, gave them some time to kind of patch things some more. But like at this point, and like with how long it took from just like when the Kickstarter ended and stuff. You know, they they had a good idea, and uh, it's sad to, you know, kind of see it flop a bit, and I don't know, maybe I was kind of tainted going in because I had heard some bad stuff, but the first impression it's giving me, just with the freezing and the crashing, it's, it's not worth the time. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just repeating myself now, so I'm going to go ahead and end this here, uh, you know... I wish I had more to say about the game. Uh, if you have any questions about it, like, if you want to see a little more of it, uh, I can see if I can get it running consistently enough to maybe do, like, a second video, kind of looking back at it, get some more playtime in there. But uh, for now, that's all I got. So leave a comment, um, you know, uh, check out Facebook if you can, and uh, hopefully we'll have something better next week.